Welcome back to YTCN, the YouTube Cruise News news show where we talk about what everybody else is talking about in the online cruise community. This week's edition features homes on wheels, private islands, a unique cruise opportunity that we've never had before, and ends with a social media minute. My name is Morgan, and please welcome my special guest this week, Pink Eye. Alisa and Jason over at EECC Travels have found a cure for their travel blues and purchased an RV. As any of you who watched Sunday Sofa Time from last week know, we are also looking at alternate forms of transportation and travel for 2021 and an RV is not unlike a yacht. It's kind of like a small home that's portable with everything you need and can take you to places that you wouldn't normally go or normally get to, especially this year. A yacht, of course, takes you to water-based destinations and ports around the world, and an RV will take you to just about any place you want to go on land, including Walt Disney World's Fort Wilderness Campground, which is the first place that they went to. My prediction for 2021 is that more and more people are going to be turning to these kind of alternate methods of travel to replace flying, to replace train travel, to replace cruises, and, you know, maybe it's a good time to buy some stock. Follow their entire experience into this new world over on EECC Travels. Gary on Tips for Travelers made a positive video with five things related to the current situation that we can actually look forward to, like positive things. I'm not gonna go through the whole list here, but there are two things in his video from January 17th that I want to point out. One is the fact that there are some really crazy cruise deals being offered at the moment, and it has really literally never been easier to cancel or change your cruise dates. Another thing is when cruising finally does start again in the USA, there are going to be a ton of brand new cruise ships that nobody has cruised with yet. Usually, one or two new cruise ships get announced and launched in a year, but there have been all these new ships coming that were supposed to be launched that, you know, it didn't happen, but they're just sitting out there waiting to get started. And you could probably do six inaugural cruises in a row with no problem. That has never been possible. I'm talking about the Carnival Mardi Gras, the Royal Caribbean Odyssey of the Seas, the Crystal Endeavor, the MSC Seashore, and there are more. That is pretty exciting actually. And let me know in the comments which of the new ships you are most excited about and if you actually maybe already have booked a cruise on one of these new vessels. And if you wanna see the other happy things on Gary's list, head on over to Tips for Travelers. And while we're on the topic of happy thoughts, let's talk about a recent upload from Ben and David where they talk about their list of 10 reasons cruising will be epic in 2021. Now, many of the reasons they talked about are very similar to Gary's reasons. However, one thing they mentioned that I didn't think of was the fact that the private islands, you know, like Royal Caribbean's Coco Cay or Disney's Castaway Key, that they're really safe environments because they're closed off from the rest of the world. Going to these destinations is basically like being on the ship. So not only can we relax a little bit more when we're strolling across the warm sands of Princess Keys, but these ports are probably also the last ports that would get canceled. What I mean is when cruising begins again in the USA, it may be that some of the first cruises are cruises to nowhere like they've been doing here in Europe. However, a cruise to nowhere could technically still stop at one of the private islands, which is a very good thing. Ben and David also talk about improved interactive technology on ships, revitalized menus, updated entertainment offerings, and a lot more in their Good Mood video from January 15th, so go check it out. Okay, before we move on to the social media minute, let me just take a second to send some love and positive energy over to Sean and Steph, two of the nicest members of this cruise community. You might know them from their really popular review of the Royal Caribbean The Key service, and they have a lot of other great videos too. Well they're kind of going through it at the moment. And if you are watching this on your TV right now, I want you to grab your phone, go to their Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, and just start liking and hearting and thumbs upping everything you can. When you're a YouTuber, it can feel really great to get a huge burst of new subscribers and likes. So please go over there and send them some love because they could use all the happy vibes they can get right now. Sean and Steph, if you're watching this, Ugh. Ugh. 
And now it's time for a social media minute. In this recurring segment, we look at things trending on other platforms. And have you all seen these grumpy Bernie memes? I am living for them right now. Former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders was photographed like this at the presidential inauguration. And people are photoshopping him now into just the funniest sort of waiting around situations. If you jump over to noguiltdisney.com, they have collected some of the best Disney-related ones, like Bernie waiting for the people mover to open, Bernie appearing on WandaVision, Bernie reserving a spot for the parades. I've made a few myself on my Facebook and Instagram, and I just get a laugh out of all of them. So please, if you find some good ones, send them to me. So before I go, let me just remind you again to please send a wave of love over to Sean and Steph, and check back in a few days for Sunday Sofa Time. This this week we'll be discussing uh, the MSC Yacht Club in a little bit more detail. I'll be comparing prices and letting you know ultimately what I think about this luxury service offered by the Italian cruise line MSC. See you there! Meaning uh, cruise leaves. <laughs> ben and David also talk about improved interactive technology on ships, what else? revitalized menus, updated and if you want to hear all of their good mood list from their...